Okay, what I've got today is I've got a Lionel 2023 Elko with a very stubborn horn in that it doesn't work and when you activate the relay it just makes a slight noise. Now I've tried adjusting it by way of the uh, little adjustment screw under the horn but it just doesn't work reliably. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, how to take apart the horn, clean the contacts inside, and assemble it and uh, possibly have it work again. Now what I've done here is I've obviously removed the horn from the train frame and with this little screwdriver I've gently, and I mean gently, pried all the little tabs away from the rim of the horn and you have to just do the minimum amount of prying that you can do to remove the front cover because they will break right off on you and then your horn will never work again I promise you. So I've done that and now I've taken the horn apart and the way these horns work is this contact on the top here this makes the electrical contact to the solenoid coil by way of this little button here through ground and what happens is when that makes contact this uh, vibrating arm here is then drawn down by magnetic force to the solenoid coil when it hits the solenoid coil the contact is broken between this little contact and that little contact and the lever wants to come back up and what happens is it just repeats and vibrates very fast by making and breaking the contact what happens in these horns many times is this little contact gets oxidized, this contact gets oxidized, and this actually this flapper arm, which is sort of rusty in this one, but it can be made to work again. The uh, service between the magnetic plate and the contact here gets corroded and it, it makes for uh, poor contact. So what I've done is I've taken some uh, I had a piece of sandpaper here, it's like 400 grit, and I polished this off here to make sure that contact's good. And over here, I polished the top contact on, on the horn, and I took a little bit uh, more abrasive paper, I had some 320 going here, and I've just polished off the underneath of this contact here. Okay, what I've done now, I've cleaned those contacts up with some uh, some sandpaper and, and made sure they're as nice and clean as I can get them. I've got this little screwdriver here just wedged under the bottom of the armature, pushing the contact up to the horn relay, making the circuit. And then over here, I just grabbed this old piece of wire I had lying around, and I've got the bottom of it grounded to the frame, and the top part is now going to provide ground to the horn. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do is show you that you have to have the, uh, the movable arm here in, in somewhat of a close proximity to the coil. And you, you can see now that that is working. And it seems to be working pretty reliable. This didn't work at first like this. So I feel pretty confident that this is going to work when I get it back together. Another thing you want to do is take the cover, the vibrator cover, and just on the edges, clean those up because that, that is the ground path. Okay, so if there's, if there's any corrosion there, which this one is corroded, but it's, it's good enough. Just polish it up a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, this will help. And then uh, same, thing with the, uh, same thing with the cover here. Okay, what I've done now is I've assembled the top of the horn and all its components back together. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that all my uh, little tabs are crimped securely. And you've got to make sure that they are secure. And these seem to be pretty good right now. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to test this in real time. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And you can all laugh at me. Okay, now what I'm going to do is adjust the uh, 
little screw on the bottom to get my best pitch. So I'm going to take this back off. And this little screw here. I'll get the horn to fire. Oh, took my screwdriver out. That sounds pretty good. Okay, what I've done now is I've attached the horn securely to the frame of the train. I made sure all the crimping connections around the horn are good. They have to be tight for uh, good sound out of the horn and now we'll just test it again. And that sounds as good as any horn that uh, I have, maybe better. So I hope this helps somebody and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, what I've done here is after I've got this whole thing together and tried it with the transformer, what I found was the horn relay was sticking and then it wouldn't shut off. And this was actually one of the worst ones I've seen. So what I do, it's an easy fix, is I took a little section of black electrical tape and stuck it on the bottom of the movable armature contact. And what this does is prevent the armature contact from sticking to the coil core magnetically. And it doesn't really interfere with the operation of the horn or the relay. And it's a quick and easy fix that, that works pretty well. And now it cycles reliably and the horn sounds good. And I'd have to call this whole thing a success. Thanks for watching again.